everybody. So tonight I'm at the Markstra Trail, uh, just the beginning of the trail in Sedona, Arizona. And I'm gonna be doing a couple quick sunset paintings. It's really cloudy, so really cloudy sky means usually a really colorful, really awesome sunset. Be focusing on the sky and um, it'll be really fun. Hope you guys enjoy. So this is my usual palette. You can pause the video to identify the colors. And I'm jumping right in with the composition. You can see I've already toned my ground with an alizarin crimson wash, which is kind of like a, a transparent pinkish cool red color. The sky is my focus, so I'm drawing in the foreground hillside and background mountains, which takes up one third of the surface area, leaving my sky two thirds of the scene. I'm dropping in a couple cloud shapes too, which really isn't even necessary at this point, and then moving straight into a quick block in. Here I'm thinning out my colors with odorless mineral spirits, so I can have a tacky base for laying in the sky when the sun begins to set a bit more. And you can also see that my color is kind of a grayish blue, uh, middle value, um, so not too light or too dark, and you have some luminosity there too. So in those little cloud shapes that I dropped in, I've put in a little bit of just some thinned down titanium white and that'll kind of show through really nicely just like the the red underpainting and that'll add a little bit of warmth to the sky as well and now that i'm kind of blocking everything in the sky is really rapidly changing uh, as the sun falls closer towards the horizon and i can really start to play around and try to apply the cloud arrangements and colors that inspire me the most so i'm really treating this as kind of a a plein air study or a sketch so i'm just playing around with ideas here and since the sky is the lightest value spectrum of a landscape scene and my foreground doesn't get too dark since it's dusk i can still move shadows and highlights around a little and I've now got this beautiful overarching cloud shape that has taken up a really large part of the sky, especially in the scene. So this is kind of what I'm trying to express now. And I've laid in kind of like a light orange yellow with also some pinks and reds. I've also got this really beautiful band of violet closer towards those distant um, cliffs or that ridge line. And you can see how the gradient of the sky kind of becomes inverted as the sun begins to have the light direction tilt upwards and parallel. So I've dropped in kind of like a really light yellowish cobalt blue up um, towards the top of the panel here so you can see how it kind of goes from light to dark almost and this is where i'm really using the a la prima painting technique which is just the application of wet paint that's applied over wet paint and this is a very direct way to capture the light as it's happening and also really capture um, the movement and energy of the scene. And I'm building up a lot of nice texture as well. So I've also got um, some nice cloud shadows, which is like a purpley um, violet color. And that is a beautiful complement to this golden yellow orange. And when I'm applying the wet paint over wet paint, I can also mix my colors directly on the panel. So if I'm trying to create some grays, 
Actually, the purple and yellow will create a really nice gray tone as well as the orange and blue. So I've got a, not, a lot of nice um, color mixing that can just happen uh, right here um, within the painting. And that helps to really just harmonize everything in a really beautiful way. So now I'm just kind of redefining those new shapes that have separated and really trying to communicate that volume and that inner light that is just really captivating me at the moment right now. So I've got a lot of these uh, kind of darker clouds that are shifting and passing in front. And even though I've put kind of my lightest highlight down for those cloud shapes, you know, if you take a really um, large amount of paint, you can just lay it right on top and um, you won't get a really dark color if you're going over a white, but you'll still be able to communicate a really great uh, sky shadow color. So I can drop in those um, darker clouds passing over that lighter cloud still pretty easily. So it just goes to show a lot of um, this alla prima technique also is just about kind of applying more paint that you're comfortable with and really just being totally confident in the colors that you want to put on and where you want to layer them. Keeping in mind too that you know I'm okay with a little bit of white being mixed into these other um, values or other colors because I really want to communicate um, this higher key value spectrum in the sky. And so I'm kind of happy with the way that all of this is working out. And I've really just enjoyed being out here as the sun is setting and hopefully, you know, able to capture a little bit of that magical and fleeting light. Thanks so much for observing my process and hopefully this gives you um, some good tips or just gives you a little bit of excitement to go and um, connect with nature in a deeper way.